We end Keotober with a surprise edition, one that I mentioned earlier, a surprise return of Alloy Beast Armored BTI with a set of trains. Well, rather, it would be a set of trains, this is just the one, but you get the idea. And we're going to have a look at it. Yay! Now, those of you who watched the last Keotober, remember BTI Allied Beast Armored as a uh, sort of pseudo Dino Force Combiner that, well, wasn't very big, and even though it was missing one part, it was kind of goofy looking. Here they have another set with a quartet of trains, but they combine a little differently. They actually just uh, kind of split apart at the waist and didn't just combine that way. And if I had bothered to get another train from them, I probably would be demonstrating that, but we're just going to focus on the single train right now. Ah, oh, here we go. The On Gang Toys. Deformation, deformation Robot Game. Okay. And for any of you that can read these particular characters, if I can get a better view of them here. Please tell me what this says. I imagine this is probably just more guff of general legal nonsense. All right, I imagine that the uh, game part probably comes in this uh, character card back here. Uh, okay, it looks like we do have something forming instructions. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let's open this up and see what happens. Because even though everything looks solid in the package, the real telling is when it's out of it. This is actually a fairly decent quality card. Oh, lovely. Okay. Okay, there's the instructions. Three, maybe? Three, yeah. Hmm. Yes, there does appear to be a fair amount of die cast in this figure. Well, not immediately a sign of quality. Or, well, at least on, uh, uh, for some viewers it isn't. It does add a very delightful heft, which I appreciate in this. Especially given the uh, rather peculiar nature of its previous release. The company's previous release, anyway. Alrighty, so out of the package, everything seems relatively tight. Got some interesting ball sockets on the hips, as well as stem ball sockets for the shoulders. A little odd. The head is hollow there. So that's going to detract some people. That's not a fact that this is what, for what this is in the first place. And it is fairly small. No weapons. No accessories at all. But still, it is... For what it's trying to be, it's a fairly decent representation. For a transforming... From a train that transforms from a, into a robot. It at least does it competently. Up to this point. Okay, as for the rest of the articulation, uh, the uh, elbows are a little uh, limited. So at least nothing in the waist, but that's probably for the uh, <clears throat> combination gimmick. And nothing really in terms of knees. And you just get these flat, these raised parts for the feet. So th this is definitely going to drive some people nuts. But it's holding together just fine. So that accounts for something. Alrighty, moving on to transformation here. It seems to be a fairly straightforward affair. Everything just kind of tucks back and into itself. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Train mode. The rolls. Yay. Now, after the uh, spectacular disappointment that was the knockoff Mega Beast Wars Megatron, this is actually a well, it's a significant step upward. <laughs> it's a nice little desk toy. Might be a little pricey for what it is. I don't remember off the top of my head, but still, it's nice. It can do a transformation decently. It can theoretically be a combiner. It rolls, and it's a. Fairly decent train. Really, that's all you can ask for. 
And this is the Septuil signing off for yet another K-O-tober. Reminding you all, free your mind, free your toys, and God help us all.